Hello, my name is Audrey Chan. I am a student curatorial intern for the Picker Art Gallery and a member of the graduating class of 2023. The following piece is titled The Rebozo by Jean Charlot. It is a color lithograph that was created in 1933. In this print, Charlot depicts a woman wrapped in a black and white striped rebozo, a Spanish term for shawl. Though she stands in the shadows, a soft sunrise or sunset illuminates the landscape to her side. Her eyes are closed as if she's slowly waking with the morning light or resting as the sun goes down. The print captures a glimpse of the Mexican landscape in a shade of rich ochre. A single palm stands tall in the distance against the pink sky. Jean Charlot was a French artist with Mexican heritage who moved from Paris to Mexico in his early 20s. He played a significant role in the Mexican mural renaissance, painting and working as an assistant to Diego Rivera. From 1926 to 1928, Charlot accompanied the Carnegie Institution of Washington's expedition to Chichen Itza as an archaeological artist. This job was crucial to Charlot's artistic development as he became interested in Mayan art and indigenous Mexican culture. The nods to abstraction seen in his work can be traced to the geometric human forms he encountered in his exposure to Mayan aesthetics and visual culture. Here we see a scene from Mexican life, a theme Charlot became known for, even as he moved between Mexico, New York, Georgia, Colorado, and Hawaii. In his comments for this catalog entry, Charlot wrote, This took a long time to evolve. The woman was originally giving centavos to a beggar. Imagine how the composition would change if the standing figure had her arm extended out to drop coins in a beggar's hand. Perhaps the soft tilt of the woman's head is reminiscent of a version in which she was gazing down at another person. This print is one of 32 images featured in a picture book of Charlot's work, created in 1933. The artist's goal in creating the book was to expose the process of printmaking by including prints of the individual layers that would be compiled to create the final image. From the artist's records of the process, the color of his first layer of ink was yellow, followed by reddish-brown. Notice how these colors create a warm feeling as the base tones of the print. Turning our eyes to the earth, we can see yellow peeking out from the textured ground and the vibrant sand. Moving up to the sky, glimpses of yellow remind us of the emerging or fleeting sunlight. Each print was accompanied by a two-line rhyme written in French and English. Both the texts reference the black and white striped rebozo worn by the woman. The French caption translates to, she sees everything in black and white. Nuances are too disturbing. And the English rendition reads, decked in prisoner stripes, her heart for escape is ripe. How can we interpret these captions? In contrast to the tranquility of the image, the texts evoke darker language that might lead us to wonder why the woman is standing in the shadows. The composition of the print is distinctly split between the vibrant landscape on the left and the dominantly black and brown right side. The woman's silhouette almost blends into the wall, her dark brown skirt matching the tone and vertical grain of the structure behind her. With the stripes of her shawl pointing inward toward the center of her body, there is something very contained and private about the woman. She closes her eyes to the beauty of the natural world as she stands pressed against the building. The caption, reading, Her heart for escape is ripe, might lead us to wonder if she longs to break from her place in the shadows and venture to the open terrain beyond her.